is raising a child. Um, and so, you know, they, they, you watch and it's like, no, don't do this, don't do that, do this. And, and it's always this form of control. So that in and of itself, when, when they're having to deal with someone trying to control them, it, it really knocks them off of alignment. So that's going on, number one. Number two is that they're also being taught to look to the future, look to the future. So they're like, what are you going to be when you grow up? Or you can't have that until you get older or, you know, all these things. And so they start to live, um, not, they start to not be present anymore. They're either dealing with, uh, you know, hey, I just got in trouble because I wasn't doing what so-and-so wanted me to do. And you know, for some reason that doesn't feel good within me and they and because the mind also is has a tendency to focus on past things that um, are a threat, you know, you're pulled back into these negative occurrences. So it really keeps your focus there. So the so you're sitting there and you're trying to figure out and you're rehashing your mind, why did they get mad at me? What did I do wrong? How can I how can I um, solve it so I don't do it again? Okay, mm -hmm. it, so you begin to focus on unwanted things, and then you're looking to what it is you're going to do to the future. So now you're never present anymore because you're either in the past or, or part of you's in the past and part of you's in the future, and you're not really, really present in the moment, which is the most powerful place that anyone yes. could ever be. Yeah, yeah, this is this is this is absolutely incredible. So let me let me just interject something. If, if I may, that specifically, and, and again, to all the listeners out there, if, if any of this doesn't make sense to you, and it doesn't connect with you, just throw it out the window, okay? I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that what I'm describing here, or, or what is Liz describing, is the absolute and only truth, okay? This is just, you know, from my experience, what, what, what I learned in my life and what actually I used to attempt to get back to, because that is what I'm working on now at 56, getting back to being a two-year-old. <laughs> and I think I'm succeeding. <laughs> I'm succeeding. True. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the diapers, the diapers are, are not on yet, but... Um, I'm learning about more and more <laughs> to be <laughs> to be in the present. Okay, so here's what happens, and this is just what I think, and it's just my opinion. So what happens is this is the moment when we lose our innocence. Something happens, and I re refer to it. That's the big hurt. And it happens to everyone on the planet. No one is exempt. Not even our president. This happens to everyone. Something happens, and because no one has taught us yet how to blame others or any of those other great tools that we're going to learn later on on the way, we have no way of explaining to ourselves why are we hurt so much. Now this could happen, this hurt, this big hurt that I'm referring to, could be someone is abusing us emotionally, someone nearby that's loving us is actually abusing us, imagine that. Or maybe it's sexual abuse, or maybe they said some, something or they did something that we could not possibly explain. Why is it happening? All could be happening is our mother and father could be fighting. And our father could be, for an example, beating our mother. This is just an example. We don't know how to explain that, but it hurts us. So what do we do? We take it on like hook, line, and sinker. We take it on and we say, it's us. The reason why we hurt, the reason why we feel what we feel, 
that we can't explain is because we caused it. We are the problem. And how does it manifest itself? We create what I call a core issue. And that core issue could be, I'm not lovable, I'm not good enough, I am a nobody, I'm ugly, I'm a whore, and the list goes on. Human beings have created thousands of variations of this. How does it play out in life? As soon as this, this is just a concept. This was only true for that moment in time and space. Whatever we were experiencing was only true. I just want to make sure I'm communicating this properly. It was only true for that time and in that space.